Hello everybody and welcome to Friday Night Streaming. We are playing Mario and Sonic at the 20, uh, 20 Olympic Games. No, what's the full name of it? Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games 2020 Tokyo, or whatever it's called. Um, because it is opening ceremony night for the 2021 Olympics as they are known now. And while it has certainly been a controversial Olympic Games, given that we are still in the middle of a pandemic... Uh, I think it's... I can't help but get into the Olympics. I always love watching them, and I'm looking forward to watching them again this year. So since it is that time of the four-year cycle, I figured we could play this one tonight for the stream. As you can see, it's still all branded at 2020. Uh, it was released in 2019, when everybody still thought the, the Olympics was going to be a 2020 event. That was not to be, but... Uh, yeah, I am. I, I enjoyed this game when it came out back in 2019. Enough. It is a mini game compilation, so you're not going to get too much depth out of it, out of it or anything like that if you haven't played it yet. But I enjoy it, and I haven't played it since then. <laughs> so I'm probably going to be quite rusty. I don't know if I remember how to play all the games. There are plenty of them, but they are pretty simple, so I'm not going to have any trouble getting back into them. I think. So there is a quick match here, story mode, local play, online play, and my data. Uh, all nicely themed to the 2020 Olympics. Would have been really nice to be in Tokyo to watch these. I was actually really looking forward to it right up until they cancelled the flights and um, uh, for, for, for my first trips back in last year, in 2020. I figured that was a sign that I was probably not going to be able to get along to the Olympics whenever they were going to be held. And... That has proven true. I was really looking forward to being in Tokyo for the Olympics. Really, really looking forward to it. But such is life, I guess. I'll just have to watch on the TV screen and wish I was there. It is actually a pretty hot time of year over in Tokyo. So it would have been uncomfortably warm anyway to be at the events. So that's how I'm consoling myself right now. But anyway, that's enough of background. Let's jump into it. I'm only going to play quick matches tonight, I think. Because there's enough events and the story mode is a bit pointless to, to run through. Uh, here we go into this though. Look at all these events. There are, are a lot of events that they threw into this. And a lot of them are quite simple, of course. Because it is mini-game compilations. We'll start with some football, shall we? Let's do some football to start with. Um, like I said, I don't... See, the maximum time that you can put the thing onto is four minutes. We're not talking about FIFA simulations here. But um, I'm not going to put it on higher difficulty because I'll probably forget how to play. So we'll do that and jump into football. You can, in some events, you can play on with the Joy-Cons rather than the buttons, but I'm playing buttons only because I'm using my Switch Controller Pro. Okay, and then we select our characters. I always select Yoshi, of course. Let's go with Daisy. Uh, I never pick the Sonic characters. <laughs> I'm not the world's biggest fan of Sonic is just about everybody knows um yes. if you ever talk to me about sonic games I'm, I'm never too complimentary towards it let's go with donkey kong for the last one all right and that's your team you do get a birdo as your goalie and you can pick your strategies there's even strategies there offensive defensive counter uh let's just go all these different formations they went all out as simple as the game is, they did go all out. We'll do that. We'll just go with that. And ready! So it's all pretty graphics and stuff. It's actually quite a good looking game. Because it has the Mario charm, so it's not too complex. But it, the graphic, the graphics of you, the, the engine they've used is quite nice. And the visuals are, are there. Nice big full stadium, which unfortunately isn't going to happen this year. I, I don't know if you've, uh, if anybody has seen any of the events so far, um, because they have done a couple of earlier rounds. The softball, the um, there's been what softball. There's been a little bit of qualification for the rowing. There has been um, qualification for the rowing. What's the other thing? That, oh, a little bit of the football. That's right. A couple of rounds of the football. 
And yeah, the, the, the stadium has been completely empty. There's been absolutely nobody in the stadiums, and it is quite surreal. Because you expect to hear people cheering and clapping and stuff, and it's just like it's a, a kid's park uh, event. Hello, Chris. Welcome to the stream. Uh, you missed out too, did you? Yeah, it's really, it's just, it hurts. It really, really hurts. Uh, it's been like two years. It's almost been exactly two years now since I last got to go to to Japan, and I'm really feeling it. Oh, tried to kick the goalie. But that's why we have this, right? At least we can kind of live through. We can kind of live through. Whoops, missed it. Oh, Yoshi tried a header. Uh, yeah, we can try and move through, through the whole uh, the Olympics through this um, game and the Olympic games that are going on at the moment. That's about the best we can do, I think. Oh, Yoshi did a foul. <laughs> so, how you been, Chris? What have you been up to? Uh oh, that was probably not the right place to do a foul. <laughs> right in front of goals. Oh dear, I'm giving away a goal. I've forgotten how to do power shots. I don't know which button I need to press. Yeah, through TV and expensive imported food, NHK World has got me through a lot as well over the last 12, uh, 12 months. 24 months. I watch a lot of NHK World. Play a lot of Japanese video games. I've actually got a new beer tonight that I'm drinking. Um, it's called Monster. It's by Orion, the beer manufacturer. And it's quite nice, this Monster. I haven't had it before. I, don't, I think it might be quite new. Because there's not much on the webs about it. But it's quite a nice beer. From Okinawa. It's offside. Oh, there's no offside rules in this. They do fails, but not offside. Oh, that was a good kick. Yeah, so playing any interesting games at the moment, Chris, and what's on your agenda? Are you going to watch the games? The actual Olympics? Hopefully they're good. Beach volleyball starts tomorrow, that's always my favourite one. I, I do actually, I genuinely enjoy beach volleyball, as much as you joke about it. And the cost, costumes and costuming and stuff, I, I do genuinely enjoy beach volleyball. Oh, cool. I do like sake. It's actually quite hard to find sake in Australia. Like, really hard. Finding good stuff is even harder. Uh, you have to go to very specialist places. You can't get it at your local bottle shops or anything. So, I haven't had much sake for a while now. I do really enjoy it. I don't know what it's called, like, the specific type of sake. Uh, but there is one type that I really enjoy, which is... For, it's, it's still fermenting. It's got, like, a, a bubbly texture to it because it's still fermenting. And I can't, you can't get that in Australia, I don't think. I don't think you can actually import it. Um, but it's basically like kombucha mixed with sake. And it doesn't sound like it should be good, but it is really good. Oh, see, I can't remember how to do that. <laughs> yeah, I do like how like so much of the merchandise is 2020. Both video games, there's also a, well it's not a serious one as such, but there's another more serious kind of um, Olympic Games video game that's also still uh, being sold as 2020. In fact, it actually just went to retail a couple of months ago in Australia and they still called it 2020 on the box art. So, they're sticking with 2020. Makes sense, I guess. I think I'm going to lose this match somehow. Oh! <laughs> own goal. Well, not really an own goal. Just a terrible mistake there in front of the goals by the birdie. Uh, the birdo goal. Terrible. Absolutely terrible effort there, birdo. Well, now it's looking like Australia versus Sweden. 
there was a it was a great match for Aussies. One of the first well, the first round of the Australian football team, which was on last night, I think it was. Australia actually beat Argentina of all countries in the world, uh, two 0 in soccer in football, which just yeah that was a magnificent start for the Aussies. Good on them. I think Japan won as well, which is good because I always go for both Japan and Australia. They <laughs> get to go for both sides, and yeah, off to a good start. I really can't remember how to use a super that's cost me in this match. Ah, too high. Japan won? Cool. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Always good to see the home team win. They've got a pretty good team, Japan. And I think they've got a pretty good... From memory, I, I think I read somewhere that they've got a pretty good youth development squad at the moment or program youth development program going and of course with football in the olympics only two teams can only two teams oh sorry two teams only three players on a squad can be over the age of 23 or something it's got to be a youth squad basically so i wouldn't be surprised if japan does have a good strong squad for this olympics anyway i lost that match I'm not even commentated on. That would have been eerily quiet. We have been getting all the commentary here. So when I saw, for example, the softball and Japan and Australia were playing in the softball, Japan won that one quite easily. Um, there, excuse me. There was no crowd. <coughs> <coughs> there was no crowd, but uh, there was a commentator. Thank goodness. Go back to single. Sorry, I've got a bit of a cough. <coughs> We'll do... Let's do table tennis next. Yeah, let's do table tennis. I do like table tennis. Alright. Uh, we'll go with... Daisy. Daisy against Waluigi. Daisy from Japan, Waluigi from... Kenya, apparently. Yeah, hey, there we go. Good start there, Daisy. into a corner here. Power shot. It's better than Mario Tennis. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the Mario Tennis games in recent times. Unfortunately, I quite like the Mario Golf one that just got released, but yeah, Mario Tennis doesn't really work for me. Hasn't since the GameCube, really. Uh-oh. Well, had no chance there. <laughs> While Luigi was always getting at that point. Oops. Oh no. Good work, Daisy. Too much power. We need a new Beach Spike X game. I totally agree. It actually genuinely annoys me that we haven't had a proper volley beach volleyball game in a while. Because I think beach volleyball works as a video game. Beach Spikers was excellent. Even the Dead or Alive ones are not terrible 
as beach volleyball things. It's just kind of not the focus of those games. But yeah, beach volleyball really does work as a, a video game thing. And there was one that was in development that they released on Steam as early access. And it was actually pretty decent. It had a lot of long way to go. They had to fix bugs and stuff, but it was pretty decent. And they just never finished it. And I was so annoyed by that. I want a beach volleyball game. I love the sport. Ain't getting that while, Luigi. 6 2 lead to Daisy. The other thing that really su surprises me is that uh, is why nobody picks up the license for volleyball because volleyball is actually a very popular sport around the world it is played everywhere uh, and I think it was it's it's one of the higher ranking sports in terms of participation lots of people play it it maybe isn't the biggest kind of world game and not as popular in places like the UK and America where I guess the biggest audiences are but it's huge in Japan and it, it is a big sport like worldwide and the, I, I would have thought that the license for volleyball would be something that everybody would want to pick up because actually with volleyball, both beach volleyball and indoor volleyball are managed by the same body. So you would get both licenses in one and you could easily do a volleyball thing where you had fully licensed volleyball and beach volleyball in the one game and it would be great. I don't know why, anyone, why people don't pick up that license, why there's no developer that picks up that license. I would imagine that the volleyball body is probably quite interested in getting a video game as well. Because it would help to develop the sport further. So, who knows? Who knows? I don't do licensing in video games, but I would have thought it was a easy one. Too cold for beach volleyball. Yeah, I could imagine it would be up there in England. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. But as you can probably imagine, it's pretty popular here in Australia. <laughs> Actually, there's a beach volleyball court or group of courts pretty close to where I live bit old to be trying to the sport but <laughs> these days I'm not as mobile as I used to be for that. It's actually a pretty hard sport on the body beach volleyball. But it is a good sport. Yeah. Keep shanking it. There we go, that's better. There we go, win the match. Well done, Daisy. How close and can I throw rocks at them? <laughs> no, not quite that close. I'd actually have to walk down to the beach to throw rocks at them, but close enough. It's only a walk for me to get to the beach volleyball courts here, where I live. It's more popular than regular volleyball in Australia. Regular volleyball is just something that they do in school when they've got nothing else to do during PE classes to keep the kids quiet, it's uh, it's not a sport that gets mainstream visibility in terms of the indoor volleyball and the Australian teams never make the World Cups in the indoor volleyball and stuff. But beach volleyball, we're quite competitive. All right, so that was table tennis. Let's do, oh, let's do rock climbing now. I do like rock climbing. Where are we at? Sport climbing. Sport climbing. First time it was it has been added to the Olympics this year. So I'm hoping it goes well for them because it'd be good to see rock climbing or sports climbing, bouldering, whatever they call it. It'd be good to see it remain in the Olympics into the long term. It is an excellent sport. Not to play. I can't play. I can't do bouldering myself because I don't like heights. <laughs> so that kind of stops me. But I always admire watching people do it. So 
So this one's quite simple. You just need to make sure that uh, the little hand, Yoshi's little hand there, keeps... You press the button at the right time. So he jumps onto it there, like that. If you miss time it, then he falls off. And then you can't get a good score. You can't climb as high as you need to. But this one is... Yeah, this is one of the better minigames, actually, in this collection, I, I find. Ooh, and if he doesn't... If he almost misses, then he actually loses a lot... A bit of his health, and then can eventually fall off. There we go. There's usually one or two mini games in these kind of sport collections that you would actually like to see turned into a full game somehow. This is one of them. I'd definitely like to see this somehow turned into a full game. Ah, I missed. Get thrown back to the checkpoint. Got the star and I missed it. I actually can't remember exactly what you need to do to get the star right. Try again. There we go. Ah, I fell off right at the last second. <laughs> when will piffing wet tennis balls at each other become an Olympic sport? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that, but uh, dodgeball would be alright. I've actually thought that dodgeball should be an Olympic sport for a while. People actually play it quite seriously not so much in Australia again but I've seen in Japan especially they they really do take their dodgeball quite seriously it's pretty impressive to watch actually can I only play this one with motion control no no I was actually playing that with buttons then so you just use the two sticks to aim where Yoshi's gonna jump and yeah you, you just need to kind of mini manipulate the sticks and then press the button at the right time so yeah, you can play all the games with buttons only control, thank goodness, because I do not like motion control. Um, yeah. Yoshi, he wins the end. One thing that is missing from this one, and now I remember, because I haven't played this since 2019. One thing that is missing from this is the ability to play a couple of events in a row. And get points and stuff. You can do that in the other Olympic Games game the more serious one, the not Mario themed one, um, but you can't do it in this one unfortunately. Let's do surfing, another new entry into the Olympics as of this year. Once again Australia's actually got decent hopes in that one, we've got some pretty good surfers. Um, and yeah, should be good for Japan too, they actually really do like their surfing. I don't know where the surfing's been held at, though. They don't have too many surfing beaches in Japan. Um, but wherever they're holding it, it should be a good event. Surfing is a good sport. <laughs> you have made it your mission to make boys light up an international party jam through the <laughs> being a mouthy person. Good luck with your mission there. Alright, so surfing. Oops, I missed a good wave there. So you got to wait till there's a good wave, and then paddle out and catch that wave, and then you get to start doing tricks. Bad start there. Well done, Daisy. Then you got to make tricks at the top of the waves. Wait for that one. Just let that go. Ideally, you want waves that are showing a bit of foam at the top because they're the ones that generally have. That's not a good wave. Damn. They're the ones that. Oh, this is not going to be a good wave at all. Whoa! Perfect timing, at least. When does the shark show up? <laughs> Here's the wave I want. Look at that. See the foam? That's going to be a good wave. Let's grab it. There we go. Now let's do... 
Super trick. Surfing is one sport I've never actually quite understood, I must admit. <laughs> I don't understand how the scoring works or anything like that. It's just one of those sports I don't really understand too well. Um, not that I've ever done surfing myself, so... I, or tried to learn it, I must admit. But when I, whenever I watch it, it doesn't make a whole, a whole lot of sense to me. All I know is that Australia is good at it. This could benefit from some Tony Hawk style moves. Yeah, it could. I mean, this is obviously a mini game compilation, so none of these games are these mini games are nearly as well refined as you know, proper proper sports games that are based around them. But as a collection, it's actually good fun for short bursts of time. I, I really do enjoy it. But then again, I only pick it up around the Olympics times. So. <laughs> You kind of lose enthusiasm for these things when it's not Olympics season. Let's do archery. Archery's a good fun one. Yeah, let's do archery. Uh, buttons only. Let's go with let's go with a different character. Let's go with Luigi. So there was some archery today, but unfortunately, they it was only a qualifying round, and they didn't televise it, which annoys me. I really enjoy archery. Uh, it's one of the one I actually went to the archery in 2020 in Sydney, and it was one of the better events. I really enjoyed watching it. So I'm looking forward to perhaps I, I imagine it'll be televised tomorrow, so I'll probably watch it then. Uh, yeah. Pity this game doesn't have handball. Handball's my other big favorite Olympic sport. It's the only chance we get to watch. The only chance we get to watch uh, handball in Australia is during the Olympics because. It's not a sport that Australians really get at all, but uh, I do enjoy it. Yeah. Luigi Death Stare. <laughs> yeah. He intimidates his opponents, that's right. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> but how about the he can fail movement? Yeah. I do that with the, the running ones. Or the, the button masher ones. I'm really not good at any of those. Oh, good shot. Alright, that's enough practicing. Let's, com let's compete now. Oh, 9.275. A bit of win now. Oh, 10.250. That's a good shot. Well done to me. tree in background. <laughs> yeah. yeah, these games always have those little details. Which is always charming. Have you been to the top of the sky tree? Yeah. Oh, I wasted it. It was double points and I shot into the red. Luigi ain't going to deserve the gold medal now. Oh, that's a terrible shot. Bad Luigi. To slam an arrow into another arrow is something like a one in two million event. Robin Hood did that. <laughs> I've tried archery in the past myself, and I am really not good at it in the real world. Really, really not good at archery. Just... I enjoyed what I tried. I'm shooting terribly today. I enjoyed it, but yeah, I'm not very good at it at all. Ah, oh, there we go. I got a super. Yeah, this country's great. 71.419. That's not even close to the best I've ever done. But it's enough to win the gold medal anyway. 
against all the AI as such. Well done, Luigi. Yeah, sure. Okay, so let's try something a little bit different this time. They have actually, because Tokyo's held the Olympics twice, they actually threw in this Tokyo 1964 thing as well, which is another bunch of little events that um, they're designed to look kind of old school, you know, 8-bit style. Oh, it does have volleyball here. There you go. You get some volleyball. Let's give it a go. I don't know if I've actually played this. <laughs> I have. Gotta go with Bowser with volleyball. He'd be a, he'd be a wall. Oh, nice! You were there right at the start. Team Bowser, Team Tails. So here we go. Oh, Tails gets bunnies. Here we go. Tails, Tails. is the best. Off with okay, and punch, and sp <laughs> well done. I really don't know how to play this. <laughs> and, 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 well, that wasn't good. And, jump. and, and, oh. I'm not getting the timing good here. They received the serve. Beautifully done. They play Bang! Spike. I did that. Now I get the serve. The ball is in the air. A safe serve. The 8 and 16 bit styles that don't work for you together. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that. It went straight up. A strong ah, I missed it. Hit into the... Out. Into the... Net. I just got aced then. <laughs> I probably should have practiced this before going on the stream. They received the serve. And... Uh, and... A ah... Nice try. And they received the serve. It went straight up. A blazing There we go. Changing serve. Got the serve back. Team Bowser is serving. There's the serve. Aiming straight ahead. Tails. Spike point denied. It went straight up. A strong ah. server change. Still haven't got a point. Enjoy. Thanks for joining us on the stream. Have a good weekend and whatever you're playing and watching. Mad Max. I lost that badly. <laughs> Alright, let's try something else that I'm not quite so bad at, hopefully. Shooting! Let's do shooting. With shooting, you just gotta aim it in the right spots. Let's go with. Let's go with Luigi. There's a Fuji in the background there. When you are ready to shoot, press A to call. When the clay target is launched, aimed, and press A to shoot. You get to fire up two shots for each target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit the clay target will earn you additional time. Sure. Okay, that's fine. Let's do this. Oh, that's easy. You just gotta aim it in the right spot. <laughs> Take aim. Right on target. Focus. Some good work. Level up. Focus. Oh, now it's a little bit smaller targets. Well shot. You gotta, you gotta pick where it's moving. The second half begins. What we'd expect. How? Good job there. Level up. Let's see this to the end. Oh, now it's gonna be harder. The pressure did nothing. The athlete should be careful. Such precision. 
Will our shooter stay focused? The pressure did nothing. I've nailed them all so far. Final round. Now it's going to get tough. Ah, uh, no, I missed. Shoot. We're now in bonus time. This I is missed. The test of concentration. That was pretty good effort. 40 points. I beat Sonic quite a fair way there. <laughs> I won that one pretty easily. Yatta! Yatta, yatta. Alright, let's do another map. Uh, another event. Let's see, what else can we do? One other thing that was in this game, which I haven't done too much of. You've got these kind of um, bonus games or kind of fun themed ones or I don't know what you'd actually recall them. They've got dream events here anyway. So let's do dream shootings and yeah. Shoot the target scattered throughout the stage to earn points. The player with the most points at the end of the match wins. So you've got to go around shooting targets. Press the circle pad to move, B to jump, aim by tilting the controller. It's not what I like. After a set amount of time, kite targets appear as well. Everybody can shoot those to earn extra points. Sure. Well, let's go with Yoshi. Don't know how good Yoshi's going to be at shooting stuff because... The nose gets in the way of his vision, I would imagine. Yeah, you do have to use motion controls. It's always a pity. Not a fan of motion controls. Hello Diddy, welcome to the stream. Tokyo isn't real, huh? Interesting theory you have there. Oh, you can aim with the control stick a bit. Oh, the, the kites have arrived. The kites have arrived. Go get the hang. Multi shot. Oh, cool. <laughs> so those things have a lot of health. Once you finish that, you've got to go back in and collect. Shoot more of these things, that's fine. Actually, this is pretty good fun. <laughs> I don't remember playing this one even, to be honest. I think the motion controls probably put me off it, but yeah, this is good. This is good. Oh, 
Oh, it's a boss. Boss kite. Boss kite. Let's go get the boss kite. Crazy. Use all my multi shots on the boss kite. Anybody can actually defeat that. Thing. That's got a lot of health. Nah, no, didn't defeat it. But I still won. That's the main thing. If they allowed you to do non motion controls, regular analog controls, and um, turn that into a, a full game, that could be a lot of fun. Well done, Yoshi. Next event. So what's on your agenda this weekend, Diddy? What are you playing? Anything good? Uh, what will we do now? What will we do now? Um, uh, let's go with the very original <laughs> Olympic event. Track and field back in the arcade did these. At the as the event begins, hold R to charge power. Press A at go to start running, and then just rapidly tap A, tapity tapity tap, and then you press R to use a super dash. Simple as simple can be. I think this one's a little bit unfair, Yoshi, because each character has their own like special ability, right? So Silver's super st starts are fast. Waluigi's super starts are fast. Good at super moves for Donkey Kong, but Yoshi is just run fast. So I think that's what you want for the 100 meters, isn't it? Just run fast. Okay, let's see how we go. Let's see how we go with this. I was never very good at track and field back in the day in the old arcades. I actually remember playing it in the arcade, no less. Yeah, Yoshi, he's off to a good start. Oh, he's going faster, he's going faster. Oh, I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. <laughs> Playing with your heart, huh? Oh, Yoshi got through with his nose. His nose is the one thing that won it for him. I think I overdid my superstar. I mean, my super dash. I think I went a little bit uh, fast with that. Too early. Scrapes through 15 seconds. Not a very fast sprint there, Yoshi. But I'll take the win. Okay, what will we do next? That was all good and fast and over quickly. Uh, let's do fencing. Fencing's good. So in fencing, there's a high, low, high and low attack, and that is about it. There's also a parry, so it's like Dark Souls if Dark Souls was simple. <laughs> the Dark Souls of mini games. First person to get to ten. Oops. on his butt. Well done, Peach. I did kind of button match my way through that. <laughs> no successful parries, no successful blocks. That wasn't that wasn't the most elegant match of fencing you've ever seen. But I got away with it. Well done, Peachy Peachy. Alright, so select event. We're getting through them all. We're showing you all the good ones. Um, there is skateboarding. 
Skateboarding also new for this Olympics. I'm not going to be very good at this, but I'll give it a go. I was never very good at Tony Hawk either. Pull off as many tricks as you can within the time limit to rack up your score. The skater with the most points at the end wins. Yeah, fine. Fine. Tilt left or right to turn in that direction. Press A to jump. Jump at the top of a ramp to perform an aerial trick. When your super is full, hold R and press A on a ramp to do a super trick. Yeah, that seems all fair enough. Uh, let's go with Daisy here. Daisy the skater girl. And away we go. <laughs> I'm not good at this. That's better. Nicely done, Daisy. Should I say Tony Ta Tony Daisy? No, I don't say that. That's pretty bad, actually. That was not great. <laughs> that was not great. You should probably play this game at launch, but <laughs> you bought it at launch, but they haven't played it yet. Yeah, they just released it too early. I mean, by the fact that they couldn't change it to 2021. They did release it very early, and I think that bit them a little bit. But it is worth playing. It's quite enjoyable. The story mode is actually pretty good too. I mean, I'm not going to play it on the stream tonight, but yeah, the, the story mode is quite a bit of fun. Let's go with Rugby Sevens. Rugby Sevens is pretty good. Rugby's a good sport. This one's button only. Uh, let's pull our team together. Yoshi. Luigi. Daisy. And... Donkey Girl. Good at tackling. Ever game? No, I've never gamed before ever. Do you think? I have no idea what game it is. So, rugby. Funnily enough, there is a rugby game that is on the Switch. A proper dedicated rugby game. And this is better than that. It is possibly the worst sports game I've ever played in my life. Oops. Nice run there, Daisy. Rugby is one of those games. It's always, it's always confused me a little bit why it's not, um, why there isn't better video games of rugby because rugby is actually a very popular sport, super popular. And try, yeah, Luigi. Everyone underestimates Luigi, and what does he do? He comes out and gets the try. Nailed it. Oh, that's going to be a hard conversion. Oh, good gosh. Oh, I think he's got it. He nailed it. He nailed it. 
Well done, Luigi. Hero of the team. Good tackle. Ah, uh, why'd you run out, Daisy? <laughs> Mr. Complete. Daisy's useless. He's going to do it again. Ha <laughs> ha. They're underestimating Luigi. They just don't pay attention to him. And he sneaks in and gets the try. Rugbad. Rugby's good. Rugby's a really good sport. I was actually in Japan for the World Cup. The 2019 World Cup. And I swear I've never had so much atmosphere from the, the sport. Like the whole country got so into it because... Japan did really well. They beat you know, Ireland and they got through the qualifying for the first time, the first round. They got through the first round for the first time in their history. So the whole country went absolutely rugby nuts. And each of those matches were just so intense. And the atmosphere around the place was so good. Even with the typhoons coming through, everybody was just so into it. It was, it was really good to be there. That's why I, that was another reason I was really looking forward to the, being there for the Olympics. I thought the atmosphere was going to be great. Did he convert again? And he converts again. Can't stop the Luigi train. And pow. Oh. Yoshi gets in for the big try too. And just stretches. Easy, easy try there. Pow. I mean, the other thing that obviously I should mention, I should have mentioned it way early in the stream, these things are so much more fun if you play them in multiplayer, of course. Um, because they are those kinds of mini games. So much more fun to play in multiplayer. Really good party game. Get some beers together, get some mates together. And getting the Olympic spirit with this. Oh, Yoshi. Cutting a bit fine there, but for the conversion, 21 to nil. Nailed the tackle, too. Oh, not quite strong enough to take on Wario, though. Luigi has lots of talents, but tackling is not one of them, apparently. He's doing it again. He's doing it again. Oh, just short. Oh, Donkey's in the action too. Donkey gets into the action. Now everyone's scored but Daisy. converted to well, this is becoming a blowout 28 to nil wow. your wife refuses to play multiplayer play games <laughs> fair enough Not even Mario Party, huh? Mario Party would be a shoo-in, I would think. No, I know how you feel. My wife is not big on most games. She likes to play... Um, she does like to play fighting games. So, we actually play a bit of Dead or Alive, which she enjoys. She's not much of a Tekken fan, though. I mean, who is? Say that. She likes Soul Calibur and uh, did her life, but not a big fan of Tekken. And Wario's. Oh, Wario Bowser. Oh, it's Luigi again. It's Luigi again. And he's nails it again. Can't stop Luigi. Three tries for Luigi.
another hard kick. Oh, it's cutting a bit fine. Oh! Hit the post and went in. So it counts as a conversion in Mario Sports. Nicely done, Luigi. side to pass it to. I don't know what I was doing then. I was running backwards. I need to run this way. Oh, that's a good pass. I'll give you that one. I'll give Daisy that. I thought he was going to get it a try there for a second. Oh, you can use those supers in defense as well. I didn't know that. Oh, right in extra time, she finally comes good and try. Well done, Daisy. Get the try when it doesn't matter anymore. Actually, you know what this game reminds me of that I would really love to see come back? Either Mario Strikers or Sega Su Super... Soccer Slam. Sega so Soccer Slam or Mario Strikers. Those two games on the GameCube and we... We absolutely loved at our house. We played them so much, the kind of arcadey football game things. They were just so good. Sega Soccer Slam especially. That was just such a good game. That plus Beach Spikers on the GameCube. It was a good console for arcade sports titles and I miss that we don't get that much of that stuff anymore nicely done Daisy 42 nil not quite actually even more <laughs> Some random guy, one of the random, I don't even know what they're called, I can't remember what they're called, the turtle things, just gets a try as well, sneaks in right at the end. Yeah, GameCube was amazing, I really like that console. I wish they'd Virtual Console it's on the Switch so we could actually play some of those games again. It was a good console. He's going to get a conversion too. Nicely done. 49 to nil. That is a absolute blowout. I see everybody's playing Pokemon Unite at the moment. Pokemon Unite just released this week. It's really good. It's Pokemon MOBA. I enjoyed it. I played it on stream the other night. I really enjoyed it. Hello Dave. Welcome to the stream. Dreamcast was better. Actually, I really like the Dreamcast as well. I did. As, uh, again, actually, for the sporting games. I, I quite enjoyed the Sega sports games that they put on the Dreamcast. And Soul Calibur, of course. And Soul Calibur. What haven't I played yet? What haven't I played yet? Shall we do Equestrian? Yeah, let's do Equestrian. I don't remember how to play this at all. Uh, who's going to... Who's gonna, let's go with Waluigi. <laughs> he looks, he looks strapping in his equestrian getup. I don't remember how to play. I'm going to quickly look at the how to play thing. Uh, as the event begins, hold R to charge power. Press A and go to start riding. Tilt in the direction you would like to turn. The more you tilt, the sharper you will turn. Fair enough. As you enter the jump zone before each obstacle, press A to make your horse jump. Press A to make your horse go faster. Press R to super dash. 
can only use it once per event, and you have to choose the right time to. Soul Calibur on Dreamcast was as good or better than the arcade at the time. I agree with you. It was one of the first times, I think, that the console version of a game was actually as good as the arcade. That was kind of the, the final death knell for arcades, I think, when the Dreamcast came in and started giving us exact one-for-one -one arcade quality games. That was it. It was all over after that for the poor old arcade. Now they're all UFO machines and gacha things. Actually, <laughs> the UFO things are good. I'm pretty good at some of those. I get a lot of toys whenever I go to an arcade these days. All right, let's give this a go. Go, Luigi, you strapping young lad. Oops. Yay! <laughs> hussy, hussy, hussy! Perfect timing. Well done, Luigi. Waluigi. Oh no! He crashes through the tsunami. He crashes <laughs> tsunami. He crashes through the great wave of Kanagara. Sorry, Hopsa. Not enough speed for it. crashes through the the great wave again. Well done, Waluigi. You gave it your go. Thanks, Dave. I'm actually, uh, about to head off myself, to be honest, because it is time to watch the opening ceremony, and that means a good deal to me. So I'm going to have a watch of that. So. Anyway, that gives you an idea of what this game is all about. <laughs> well, Luigi only came in third. Uh, that gives you an idea of what uh, this game is all about. If you haven't played it already, then there you go. If you've got a Switch, then give it a go. It's fun. Now's the right time to buy it and play it as well, because it is the Olympics. And once again, the story mode, which we didn't play tonight, is actually pretty good as well. You get a lot of events. It's great, funny multiplayer. And it's all very simple stuff, so players of any age can enjoy it. So... Thanks everybody for watching. I'm off to go and watch the actual opening ceremony and then start my two weeks of Olympic obsession. I hope you all have a great weekend. Play lots of games. Uh, enjoy the Olympics if you watch them like I do. And we will see you quite soon.